we have a resonance circuit here uh, all of these three circuit constants are given um, and our task is at first to find the resonant frequency of this circuit then to find impedance at this frequency and uh, also uh, find a root mean square value of this current uh, at the resonant frequency for the supply voltage of 1 volt. Obviously all these three variables they can be calculated or they can be designated by means of p spice. So I'm gonna skip calculations. This is calculation of a resonant frequency. We can see it is 477 kilohertz. Let us uh, designate this frequency by means of p spice. So we have to um, run p spice. Then we have to add trace um, the initial phase angle of this current. Actually, phase shift between this current and this voltage. Fa initial phase angle of this voltage is zero. So phase shift is exactly uh, initial phase angle of this current. So this is our plot and at this point uh, this uh, phase shift is zero means we uh, have a resonant frequency and we can read this frequency which is 477. Now having this frequency we may calculate two other variables impedance once again I'm gonna skip manual calculations 100 ohm is the uh, solution and uh, by means of p-spice we have to add to our probe window we have to add a new uh, plot, a top plot, it is a modulus of impedance, uh, effective value of this voltage, which is 1 volt, divided by effective value of, of this current, and for the very same uh, frequency, uh, resonant frequency, we may read a value of, um, uh, of impedance or resistance, which is 100 ohm resistance. And finally, uh, a current, root mean square, square current that flows, here it is quite easy to calculate this current. We may designate this current uh, the same way as before. Now we will change the top plot from impedance to current, to current that flows in this circuit. And for this um, resonant frequency designated before, we may find that this current for this frequency is 10 milliwatt, which is a correct answer. Now I'm going to show you how to manipulate this probe window to obtain uh, these plots. Okay, let me start the PSPICE simulation. Uh, the uh, data are already stored in a computer memory. Uh, this is a netlist. I can run simulation. Okay, and this is the window. And so at first I'm going to add a trace, add trace, which is initial phase angle P of current that flows in this circuit, I sub L for example. Okay, so this is phase angle of current that flows in this circuit. So we can see this positive angle for low frequencies, a capacitive character, then we have at this point it is zero, and then we have inductive character. To exactly find this frequency, we may use uh, a search command search forward level and our level is zero. For this level we will find the argument of our function which is a frequency. Okay, so this is frequency calculated 477. Now we may proceed to find impedance and then current. So we have to add new plot. Add plot to a window, okay. This plot stays below and this trace is now impedance. Impedance which is a ratio of V sub 1 to uh, I a current that flows. Uh, through our source. Okay, uh, so this is a uh, probe cursor for this uh, bottom plot. Now if we want to move to the top plot we have to click here to designate uh, our top plot. Okay, and we may read now that this value is 100, which is the correct answer. Uh, still we may add one more plot to our window add plot 
to window and the third plot is current that flows in our circuit at trace and this trace is current that flows in our circuit the, the root mean square value of this current obviously yes and we, if we want to find this exactly this value of current at the resonant frequency we have to click here to designate this plot yes and we have 10 milliamp current uh, for this frequency please observe that at the resonant frequency we don't have exactly the maximum of these functions this maximum is not exactly at the resonant frequency okay that way we have completed this problem